Coming up on Mountain News this morning as we make our way through what's known as the most wonderful time of the year. Doctors still advise you to take care of your mental health. And lovers of Christmas lights here at Hazard get to enjoy a special tour hosted by a local women's club. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning to you. 631 here. I'm Dakota Makris. It is Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. We got to go back to work. Got to do what we got to do. Let's head over to Brandon for a look at our forecast this morning. But Brandon, one positive thing to start the week off for me, at least as I'm working two days this week. There so, you go. There you go. So good for me. And I'll remember you when I'm off. All right. Sounds <laughs> good. But uh, two things to uh, remind you of real mm -hmm. fast. There are school closings at the bottom of the screen. We have mentioned those in a little bit. Only two schools uh, not counting out uh, for sickness today. They're back starting tomorrow if everything works out. And then Morgan County is out for a uh, water issue. I do believe that's the uh, situation up there. So again, uh, be aware of that this morning. It's a bit chilly, so grab your jackets as you head out the door. Let's see what's going on there. And Buffalo Mountain it is a little bit cooler, but you see maybe the clouds trying to break up just a little bit. 37 up that way this morning. Also, we're looking at, again, the possibility for some cooler temperatures across the region there. And we're looking at uh, 45, the warm spot this morning down in Jacksboro, 31 in Irvin. And again, just some 30s and 40s out there this morning. They're going to head up, but not a whole lot. But the good news is today, the sunshine will make another appearance. Not, no more rain chances. We are done for a couple of days. But then, then a big time cold front comes in on Wednesday, and the rain chances are right back. Dakota. All right, Brennan, thank you. Well, the holidays are here, and with winter season comes cold weather and illness. Not all illnesses during the season are physical, and an important topic that doctors say need to be taken seriously this time of the year is mental health. Julia Sandor shares how one doctor is putting an emphasis on the cause. One in five U.S. adults experience mental illness each day, and over 700,000 adults in Kentucky have a mental health condition. Kentucky Health Commissioner Dr. Stephen Stack says the country does not have nearly enough resources for mental health. Mental health is greatly underserved, not just in Kentucky, but around the country. Uh, there are not enough mental health professionals. There are certainly not enough uh, uh, child mental health professionals, and uh, it's a real problem. He says for a long time, the insurance industry did not fund or treat mental health the same as physical illness. Because of this, Dr. Stack says there were limitations and a stigma surrounding the subject. So we all need to normalize that all of us struggle from time to time and all of us should feel comfortable seeking and asking help when we need it and we really need to invest in our mental health workforce. He says one great resource people can call if they are having a mental health crisis is 988. The new hotline provides people with counselors 24 hours a day and he says the early signs show that it has been effective. Hopefully you know it takes time for people to know these resources exist. We all know 911 if you need an ambulance or you need the police. It's going to take time for more people to become familiar with 988, but it should over the long haul be very helpful. In Lexington, Julia Sandor, WKYT. Well, a man infamous in Kentucky for faking a mental disability and begging for money has been arrested by the Paintsville Police Department. Gary Thompson, also known as the bogus beggar, has a history here in the Commonwealth. Thompson is from Louisville, where our sister station, Wave News, followed his story for years. He's been jailed and chased out of all places, uh, out of places all across Kentucky, rather. Officials with Pikeville Police Department recently received complaints that Thompson was in their region. Thompson faces several charges, including criminal trespassing, soliciting unlawful compensation, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. Well, in happier holiday news, the Hazard Perry County Women's Club hosted its annual tour of homes yesterday. Four homes in the county were set up with all kinds of Christmas decorations for tourists to see. Each home had their unique designs to raise Christmas spirits. Women's Club member Sherry Burchell says this tradition is always a hit. Everybody goes all out every year. This year, we people look forward to coming because it's something to start the holidays off. And we have anywhere from 100 to 200 people that usually come through on the tour. The Women's Club also held a silent auction for the event to support the community. Hazard's annual Christmas and a small town festivities wrapped up during the weekend. But the organizers saying Saturday's event had the largest turnout yet. Well, the tradition began in 2016, and event organizers say it's been rewarding to watch it grow ever since. This year's festivities featured free ice skating for attendees, as well as new inflatables and photo opportunities for people to enjoy.
We just wanted to provide an event downtown um, that was beautiful. You know, people travel all over the state of Kentucky to go see Christmas lights or go to events. Well, we you don't have to travel. We've got it right here. Although this year's fireworks display was canceled, people still lined the streets to watch the annual Christmas parade. Lexington police hosted their annual Shop with the Cop event on Saturday. 227 Fayette County kids got to fill up a cart with any toys they wanted with the help of Lexington police officers. Now, a detective says some calls require officers to respond during negative experiences in a child's life, so it's good to respond in a positive experience. So if we can give them a good experience, maybe a positive experience, so that terrible moment that happened to them, that's not what they associate the police with, um, and, and help out with Christmas. Every kid deserves to have, you know, something under the tree for Christmas or a happy experience. Bluegrass Cycling Club partners with the with the police for this event. This year it donated $3,500 worth of bikes for the kids at the event. And back here in our region, the Challenger Learning Center of Kentucky hosted a Lego Robotics Tournament at East Perry, Perry Elementary this past weekend. 18, 18 teams from the region were competing with their Lego robots in various competitions. Programming Director Joseph Collins says it's exciting to see a record number of teams despite sickness spreading around. We have seen a lot of sickness. We actually had more folks that hoped to be here today. But, you know, folks are resilient. They're always hopeful. We've seen a lot of communities, especially with these kids, that are bouncing back and excited to be part of something. Six teams from the competition will move on to the state tournament. And you want to talk about hopeful news, Robinson Elementary, and we all know that name, had two teams in that tournament there on Saturday. I was glad to be able to emcee that for them uh, on Saturday morning before we went to the Mountain Classic Saturday night. Now, temperatures across the region we are seeing down to 30 in Irvine, 45 over in Jacksboro, and we're looking again at a lot of the upper 30s there, mostly upper 30s at this point. Well, actually, just a moment. Basically, there's a 140 out there at, at, at Ashland this morning. Everybody else, uh, basically, until you get down toward the border there in the 30s. So your out the door forecast is going to feature slightly warmer temperatures today. It also it all comes down to when the sun will actually come out this morning, but I think it'll be sooner rather than later. So we may get up to 48, 50, but I do believe we'll stay kind of right there in the mid to upper 40s a little bit later on today. Dakota. All right, Brendan, thank you so much. When we come back here on Mountain News this morning, some new research finds the effort to prevent unsafe driving habits might be going reverse. Well, the reason why when we come back.